You cannot convince me otherwise that all the people that have the viral videos on Instagram and TikTok about who live in their vans, they don't actually live in those freaking vans. No, I get it. I may be a little bit of a slob. I got herpes. I got hemorrhoids. I got happiness in my heart. But this is my heart. Whoa. Whoa, we we just not gonna slide past that. What? What? We gonna we just not gonna slide past her saying that. She said that fast as hell. I got herpes. I got hemorrhoids. You know, we all gotta live in our truth. But God damn, I feel we just be on the internet sharing too much. Home, and I live in my home, and I'm gonna show you guys the truth. You know what I'm saying? Anybody in the Southern California area that wants an inverter, it might not work. I don't know. Yeah, this is my laundry room and dog tree area. Skirt tied to go. Check this out. I mean, it looks like a hot mess already, right? We got post offices that need to go to the. We got packages that need to go to the post office. We got sand everywhere. Part of the whole reason about me choosing van life officially was to deconnect from social media and the technology world and become more human. Guys, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, I ain't stupid, but if you deconnecting with um social media and the world, whatever, um, why are you on the phone? Why are you on the phone? How did you record this? And you got a whole social media account. Let's just be talking, son. Pe yo, people just be talking. They like to hear themselves speak. I'm so glad the camera was on for This thing is constantly wet. I'm gonna have to get rid of it because mold. You know, my closet space and my soaps and good stuff in here. We got sand. We got firewood. We got packages. We got dogs. We got girls. You live in a van and it's gone viral on social media and it looks perfect. I don't believe you actually live in it. Nope. So why the F and F and F? Seagull, Jester's chasing it. Did it take me so long? To tattoo my face and move into a van down by the river. Ocean. Why? This life was meant for me. If you're thinking about doing it, yo. Um, first off, just because you messy don't mean everybody else got to be messy too. Don't do that. Don't do that. What the f***? So because everybody you see who's going viral on the internet for living in a van has the clean van that's well organized and all that... You comparing them to your shit. And you want to say that they're living up. You want to say that they're not really living out their van? Why we? Why? 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 Why are you trying to discredit these people? To cover for your messiness. Another day, another Tinder match gone wrong. You want to weed out the losers who aren't going to pay for a date, who aren't going to take you seriously, who are just going to waste your time. Here's how it goes. Numero uno. So it starts off innocent enough. We have Brandon. He says, hey. I say, hi, how are you? He says, I'm good. What are you doing today? I say, nothing. You. He says, trying to see you, smiley face. If you're down, Stop. what do you have in mind? No, I say, what do you have in Stop. mind? Because Brand... I ain't gonna lie, bro. She, she needs to stop moving the picture. Every time she moves the picture and pop back on the screen, she's scared the fuck out of me. Mm. Devil want me to say some things. The ball is in your court, dude. Like, you want to take me out? You plan the date. Why am I planning the date? Absolutely not. He says, maybe you can just pull up. We can order some food and chill. Do you want to get robbed, Brandon? Do you want to get robbed today? You want to invite a strange woman on the internet to your house on a first date to get robbed, sir? 
He then proceeds to say, we can Hulu and chill and hopefully you like tequila. Babe, so you're trying to get me drunk and you're trying to get me in your house. Who is gassing these bitches? Who is out here putting that 93 in these Why is she talking like this, bro? Why is she, why is she talking like this? For a Hulu and chill, we graduated from Netflix and chill to Hulu and chill, just so you can get some, you know, meow meow, kitty meow meow. Right, Ooh, Lisa? girl, that cat sound too cute. Stop! <laughs> that cat sound too cute. Meow meow. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. No, thank you, Brandon. Um, he says we can go out if you're down. So now he wants to take me out, okay? And I have to say much. I said, no, thank you, because I'm not interested in your Hulu and chill, bro. And then I say, go out where? Because the ball is in your court, Brandon, not mine. He says, let's go to Santa Monica. To the beach that's free? No, sir. I said to a restaurant, and rightfully so. You're going to spend some dinero on another day, another Tinder match gone What's wrong with going to the beach? Why is it that people always got to spend money on y'all? It bothers me when I hear that it's a requirement for you to spend an ass of money on a first date. That video with the lady from the Cheesecake Factory, that bothered me a lot. The crazy thing is I didn't even see the whole video because... The, the clip I seen was when she said, oh, I'm not getting out the car. I didn't even know that she was like an hour late to the date. She was an hour late to the date. I think the reservations that they originally made got canceled. And he tried to save the day by taking her to the Cheesecake Factory. And that's how she acted. I didn't even know all that. And now I'm looking at this video. Shorty, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm surprised you even getting dates. You feel me? Like, let's not do these type of things, man. We out here preaching some bull. I work too hard to be a meal ticket for you. It's a lot of us men out here that have jobs that literally risk our lives every day. You think I'm finna risk my life and waste my check on you? Okay, ever in a pinch and you don't want to make dinner, I'm going to show you guys how to make the easiest thing ever. You boil some water. You guys break this into like four pieces, which I already did. Super simple. And this. I know this half ain't finished show us how to make ramen noodles. I know it's gonna be some bull. tastes like chicken. It tastes like real chicken. Um, it's mom approved. And if you want uh, enough for like two people, do two packs. Generally, you do one pack per person. Um, and you don't want to put these in there. You just put that in there. You're going to just let it boil and then watch what's next. Do you like your noodles with sauce or do you like them dry? I particularly like my noodles dry. When I made them in, in college to make my noodles and I used to make my corned beef. Put that together. It was, mwah. Mwah. And now all you do, you divide this two packs into two bowls, because that's how much two packs makes. And watch. You're going to add these little extra flavoring packets. One in each one. This is like the simplest dinner ever, but kind Bro, of. Bro, she gotta so be trolling. Tried. You kind of mix it up, and guess what? If you want to add some extra green, because there's always some green, like little, like leaf things in there. If you want to add a little bit extra, watch. Depending on how dark you want the, the leaves, you could use either dill, because that's a green. It's like a lighter green, or you could use parsley flakes. It's kind of a darker green, so I'm gonna use parsley flakes. You put a few on. Does this not look gourmet or what?
No, the fuck it don't. Okay, so I'm asking her to show me her phone, and she says there's nothing to look at her phone. You guys, if somebody asks you to see their phone, um, please tell me how you actually deal with that situation instead of just being like, there's nothing to see. My man, once you got to ask to see the phone, it's over with. That means you don't trust her. Body language speaks volumes. Body language right now is, I don't want to give you shit. Are you done? I'm asking you a simple question, Kiki. Are you done? Hey, does Google messaging on your phone... Bro. Is that a normal thing? Yes. It's a normal thing? Then, okay, can I see it? There's Google Maps. Okay. okay can I see Google your photos. Google messaging? <laughs> see your Google messaging? <laughs> Shorty said there's what Google Maps. What? Dude, seriously. If I'm asking you to see your phone and you're not showing me there's a problem and yes. you're gonna look at your face dude seriously i'm gonna show everybody this dude, you and it's just like no you go digging for skeletons you're gonna find a dead body <laughs> you remember back in the day when you was out here doing dirt people had two phones now you can have a two-in-one special all you gotta do is get you that google number roach check Today I'm going to be counting how many roaches I have in my room. So of course we have the rats, and the rats have been eating a lot of roaches since I introduced them to my habitat. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight roaches on that towel. Yo, hold on, gangster. Hold on, hold on. Did this man say he willingly introduced rats into his house? So that the rats can eat the roaches? Is that what I just heard? Yo, he is living filthy. He is living filthy. Where's your family? Yo, like, why Why y'all got y'all family members posting stuff like this on the internet? I hope your neighbors see this. <laughs> One, two, right there. There's another roach right there. And then we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen on this side. Oh, ten on the top. Or twenty. Uh, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. And I'm sure there's more under the bottle cap, so we'll just call it an even 30. Also, I did spill coffee all over my keyboard. This broke my heart. As you guys know, I've had this keyboard for a long time. And I actually did get a little emotional. It's hard to say goodbye to an old friend. Um, I don't really have any friends, so this was a big deal for me. I'll do, I'll do, uh, sir. I replaced I'm it. I'm not so surprised. Who cares? I'm telling you, sometimes you see how people living in... in you gotta be thankful. This man think he freaking Ace Ventura. Today at the gym, I caught a man recording me working out. Today at the gym, I caught a. Today at the gym, I caught a man recording me while I was working out. While she proceeds to record every damn body else at the gym. Bro, this is why men don't feel comfortable at the gym. Let me tell y'all. Today I went to the gym. Usually I go to the gym, I get on the Stairmaster. Now I know that I shouldn't let anybody change the way I work out, but. It was a chick, 
the gym I go to, where we only have two Stairmasters. It's a pretty small gym. So the Stairmasters are together. It was a chick already on the Stairmaster uh, when I got there. And I wanted to get on the one next to her, bro, but I'm not going to lie. I was just self-conscious about this shit because I didn't want to make it awkward. And I'm, I, I worked out, but it wasn't really the workout I wanted to do. <laughs> My workout was really f***ed up because I didn't want to make somebody feel awkward. And it's really because of videos like this. You just never know when you're going to make it on somebody's social media account as a creep.